Hey guys, Alex here from TradeMate Sports, and today I'm gonna to take you through a tutorial of the TradeMate Sports new live betting product. Live betting using TradeMate was introduced in early 2024 and has achieved some great results so far. So for those who haven't used it yet, today I'll be able to take you through some presets you can set up for live betting, some of the results we've had since starting up and what bookmakers are best to use, and how to analyze your live bets as opposed to pre-match bets. But before I get into today's video, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get a notification anytime we post a video like this. It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Roman Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. So just like the TradeMate Sports pre-match product, it looks the exact same way when you go to your dashboard. So when you jump in, you'll see as always your fund growth, your total profit, average ROI, number of trades you've placed. These are just bets that I've got live at the moment, open trades here, amount of turnover I've gone through and open turnover, which is the eight bets that I've got going right now. Got your bookmaker breakdown here of all your bookmakers you're using so you can keep track of how much money you've got in each book, et cetera, et cetera. You can duck over here to your profile. And in your profile here, you can set things like username, currency, uh, Kelly risk, and also maximum bet size and decimal odds, those kinds of things. For those people who have used TradeMate before, you already know about this. But you can also go into your bookmakers page and that's where you can add bookmakers. So here is where you can add bookmakers. So let's just say you found a new bookmaker that you wanted to add and you're looking for a live bookmaker here. So let's just say you wanted to add patano.de and then you put its starting balance in of what you have. Make sure that it's over $0, otherwise you won't get any trades for it. And then what currency you want to use. When you go through your list of bookmakers, make sure that it says lives. If it just says pre-match, that means you're only going to get pre-match bets for them. So make sure that you can find both pre-match or pre-match slash live ones like B-Win here, and then you'll be able to get live bets for those certain bookmakers. And then let's just say you've got a bookmaker, but you were banned with that certain bookmaker. Let's just say I got banned with Batano in the end. I can also deactivate them uh, so that I'm not going to get trades for them anymore because I can't place any more bets with them. All right, now let's make a preset. So you head over to the trade feed here and here I'm gonna make a preset just for live betting. As you can see, I've called it live betting. Bookmakers, if you just leave it blank, then it'll go to all bookmakers. If not, you can select which bookmakers you wanna use. Sports, pretty intuitive there. Choose what sport you wanna use. Odds type, once again, choose what odds type you want. If any of these are not selected, you're gonna get trades for every single one. Choose an odds range. Minimum edge here, recommend more than 0.5, but just for the purpose of this video, so I can show you guys some examples of live trades that are coming in, we'll just leave it at 0%, but obviously we recommend doing at least two to 3%. Minimum bet. So here you can toggle for only recommended leagues or show all leagues. If you're interested to see which leagues come under each of those filters, you'll need to ask the TradeMate support, but Generally, the, un the recommended leagues are ones that are high liquidity leagues and the all leagues are smaller leagues. So basically trying to filter for bookmake for leagues, sorry, that are not gonna be so small that it's really hard to place a bet on them or also get you banned a little bit quicker. So recommended leagues are more so ones where you can sustain your accounts and get bigger bets on. So we're gonna save this preset here and hopefully we'll get some trades come up as you can see. So for example, we've got some uh, college football going on at the moment. Miami versus Northern Illinois. So here is an example of a bet that will come in. As you can see here, the odds are 8.5. So that's what you'll be looking for when you go to your bookmaker. Recommended stake, 130 euros. We always recommend just to round it down to, you know, maybe round up to 150 or round down to 100. Because if you're placing exact weird, I mean, who goes into a sports book and places exactly 130 euros? It's a bit of a weird stake. So try and keep things even so it doesn't, you know, look like you're doing precise stakes and looks like you have a strategy. You can see the edge here at the time. And then when you've placed this bet, you go, let's just say I've chosen, let's do 100 on this one. Register trade. 
and then I'll take you over to my trades in a second. But as you can see, these are always updating. You've got to be quick in terms of placing them because it is live, it's an ever-changing market. So you've got to make sure that when you do find a bet that you like, that you are as quickly you know, onto it as possible and you go over to the bookmaker and place that one. So I've gone over to my trades now and here you can see what trades I just recently placed. My live trades here. So at the moment I've got some live trades that are being played right now. Ice hockey, basketball, football, tennis I've just placed, but this one's already done. So for example, let's have a look at a few here that are done. They're just waiting to update themselves. So I put $102 on the Memphis Grizzlies to win at 10. They did not end up winning the match, but you'll see at the time it was a 4.26 edge and that's the bookmaker it was at. So this gives you a good idea of exactly the, tr the trade that you've just placed. Another example, smaller league here, and you can see this one actually won. So I had 111 euros here at 1.615, only a smaller edge. And um, yeah, this one ended up winning. I guess the main difference here when you're looking through each of your trades is that you'll notice that the edge and the closing are the exact same. And that's because there is no closing edge really when it comes to live tra trades. The edge that you place the bet is going to stay the edge because it's an ever moving market. It's not like there is a, a closing line that we all go off. Heading over now to the analytics page. And as always, as you can do with your pre-match bets as you can analyze your trades. The main thing is here is that you've got toggled for live trades and then you can update things like bookmakers, sports, odd types, things yourself. And it's the exact same thing when we're using the big data tool, except now we're looking at everyone else's data. So once again, make sure you try, uh, toggle here for live trades and then you can start looking at the all the bets placed by the TradeMate community. So just keep that in mind that the big data tool is everyone's trades, the community's trades, and then analytics is just yourself. If you're interested to see how the community has been performing on certain leagues, certain recommended leagues or certain sports, instead of running you through some of the results here with the big data tool, jump onto the link above me here where we did a live stream with uh, Pro Sports, but and also TradeMate co-founder Jonas Yelstad. And we went through some simulations of how live betting has been performing using the software. If you're wondering what bookmakers are best to use with our software, we did put out some data a couple of weeks ago. If you're not in our Facebook group already, make sure you try and join that one. I posted on October 31st just some of the stats in terms of how many trades have been placed by certain or on certain bookmakers. As you can see here, filtered into non-recommended and recommended leagues. So have a look at this and you'll get a good idea of which bookmakers are best to use with the live betting. And that's it in terms of the tutorial. If you are interested in buying the software and using it as a monthly subscription, then you just head over to upgrade and you got here, you have the option for monthly or quarterly subscriptions. And if you're interested in adding live betting to your TradeMate course subscription, which would be the most common subscription we have, just click the live button and there you go there. That shows you the exact cost of using live betting. A bit cheaper if you're, uh, if you're using it in the, uh, in the US too. And that wraps up our tutorial on the live betting software here at TradeMate Sports. If you liked today's video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Cheers.